There we go. We're coming. The live is alive. What's up, everybody? Let me get my camera cleaned off here. What's up, Milo Ranger, Stefan? What's up, Frank? Andrew Frank? Good evening, everybody. Yep, made it back home. Been working. A little bit tired. Yeah, we're fighting two tonight. We got two tonight we're fighting. We got the cab over in here. Rax is over there working on his truck. He got it over smoking. Yep, Dad's on his way back home. We are trying to get this thing to warm up enough to break it in. See, we're up here about 190 now. I'm ready to go back home, hopefully, tomorrow. Yeah, I went live last night, but they blocked my live. And uh, they demonetized it and blocked it where I couldn't view it. Wouldn't let nobody see it. So this thing threw me for a daggone loop. I thought something bad was wrong, and then Rob uh, made me feel a lot better about it after I talked to him. Yeah, I'll probably retort the heads on this thing. We're gonna try to get it up there about 200, 210, and let it cool back down. What's up, bro? Uh, Rooster is too tall to go to um, Connecticut. Saddle this thing on up, let it get up on temperature a little bit. This is the old style cruise control, boys. Land, you don't know what a good truck sounds like in. That's a good old Cummins air compressor for you. That thing sounds beautiful, boys. air compressor kicking in and out. Hello. Hey. I'm back away now.
tight, it's a little laggy. That's what I figured out, man. It sounds good. And runs good. Yeah, I got Rob on the phone, guys. He's listening to it. He said it sounds good. Looks good and sounds good. sucks darn water coming out of the weed pole the water pump yep yeah She's about, about 200. All right, I'll fire it back up and let it hammer then. She's hammering, she's losing a little bit, pretty good. All right, I'll fire it back. Um. I think that's where it was, the weep hole. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, boys, Rob said send it. If we want her to go wrong, we want her to go wrong right now. I'm about to crank it up right now. Say no. 
hunter. She got about oh about forty pounds. cleared up. Somebody said in the comments it was missing. That sounds like a sewing machine to me, boys. That's what Rob used to run all the time. He knows all about these motors. I got home about uh, 10 o'clock this morning, 10, 11 o'clock. Yeah, buddy. What is it? Yeah, I'd love something to drink. Yeah, if I have to, I'll put a water pump on it, but... If you're new to the channel or you don't hadn't watched this thing, uh, we just did an out of frame rebuild on it. What is customer truck guys It's close. 
Oh, that thing sounds good. steamy out of the but it quit leaking uh, well I, I think I overfilled the radiator too never mind about 20 pounds of oil pressure. No blow by. Guys, that's nor that ticking's the air compressor kicking in and out. And yeah, on these Cummins, they run about anywhere from 15 to 45 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, we got good oil pressure. Well, I, I definitely appreciate your opinion on it. That's what I'm going to do. Talk to you later. See. You. All right, guys. That's Rob on the phone. He's Rob has done tons and tons of these motors. This is what they used to run in their fleet. So uh, I was kind of worried when I first started. It had two went going everywhere. Had some coming out of the blow or the overflow, and I was like, oh crap. And Rob said, no, hammer that thing on up there and let's let her get hot.
It is not knocking. That's the air compressor on this engine. If you've ever heard an N14 or a, a big cam or a small cam, these compressors are loud. When they're kicked in, it sounds like a truck's knocking. Click, 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 click. Yeah, ACB and train station keeps on now. If she was knocking, she'd have done threw a rod through the side of it. It's been running out here for about an hour and an hour and a half, trying to get it up 200 degrees. So we're gonna let it cool back off now and do it again. Yeah, but I'm not big. I don't like the low wool pressure thing on the Cummins. But that's, I mean, every one I've ever had is 15 to 40 pounds. Oh, yeah, it all looks beautiful. Still nice and gold. Lordy, Lordy. Good deal. AC needed a break. He was getting a little rambunctious. All right, now we got to get in here on this deal. Me and Brax is going to test fire this thing, and we're going to pull this motor out. We gonna pull this engine out of this bad girl and get it, uh, this habit sitting in the floor ready for another one. This cab's all rotted out and this thing, this needs a little more work than we wanna put into one. So we've got another project we're gonna focus on on the cab over. We're trying to get our cab over parts built back up, inventoried back up. Now this is that Freightliner guys we bought from Rob. But it's got a pretty fresh engine in it, and yeah, we need to get the locks up, boys. Twelve hundred twenty-five people in here. Then we got the black pearl in here. We got a lot going on in the shop, but. I won't be taking on any more. After these are all out of here, it'll just be our cab overs and our boat trucks. That's it. Guys, when I said I was stepping back, I meant it. I'm gonna focus on oversized hauling or what little boats we're pulling and uh, work on our cab overs like we used to. Quit worrying about all this other junk. I'm so worried about working on other people's stuff. I don't, I'm neglecting our YouTube channel and. I ain't got time for all of it. So we're stepping back a little bit. Um, I took my last customer truck in today and it will be the last one. Um, from here on out, it'll just be our stuff, our cab overs, our, uh, our maintenance, that's it. We're down to uh, two guys in the shop and dad's been on the road helping me. He's gonna help me in and out of the shop a little bit. And then uh, me and Dad's going to both run oversize. We got a new oversize contract starting in two weeks, so we'll be pulling the boats. Plus, we'll be pulling RGN, and then our uh, just our regular boat stuff. So we're going to get down to where it's nice and easy and manageable, and 
um, give us some more time to do our YouTube thing. I didn't block the live from last night. YouTube did. I was so mad. I had a fun time on that live last night. Oh, yep. So this thing's getting liners and pistons, and um, I've got to put the head on it now. But just got it all ready to go. Cover that back up. Keep the dirt from getting in there. This is a darn, uh, uh, what do you call this thing? A pack car. I gotta put a turbo on it. This turbo's junk. And uh Yep, turbo. Um put the head on it now and then get it tuned and she should be ready to go. So we've been pretty busy around here, boys. This thing ended up, I had to pull it back apart. Not completely. I had to pull the front off of it. it had a little bit of a leak, an oil leak. Um, so I got to pull them cam gears back off, and there's two seals or two O-rings that go in behind them. And uh, fix those. I don't want to send this thing on down the road with an oil leak. I had a lot of people reach out want to buy it, so it might be sold. But it's nice. These are the last two, or that's the last, let's see, one, two. These two trucks are done right here. Um, the last one that I have left is this one right here. I got to go show you guys this truck. It is awesome. I've never seen one in person. I finally got it. Let's see. Let me check my text messages real quick, guys. Oh, yeah. All right, let me go show you guys this thing. So I should have some parts coming in here tomorrow for this truck. But look how empty the parking lot is. Check this out. All the boat trailers are out working. We got two trailers sitting here. Two loaded and then two empty. And it's been a long time since we've had all of our trailers loaded and gone. We got the stainless sitting there. It's going to get a load Thursday. We got four chicken loads load. Three load Thursday and two Friday. And all them guys are on their way back home um, from their deliveries. And over here on our lineup, we got a Cascadia. Um, I put a, a redid the transmission and put a clutch in this thing. The, th the, in the front uh input took out the clutch and this has got that hydraulic clutch in it so we got that thing straightened up for a customer it's all fixed and ready to go and i traded him the job for a truck with a 6nz in it it's I, we had a miscommunication it's supposed to have a new motor in it new 6nz for that red peter build over there i was going to get it and bring it home and take the motor out and put it in that peter built but now come to find out the motor's got over a million miles on it so I'm trying to renegotiate with that guy, figure out what to do. Cause I've got four or five six NZs with, you know, that are got a bunch of miles on them. I wanted something fresh for that truck. Um, there's Brax's truck. We've been working on it. There's the classic, the other classic. It comes in the shop after the cab over comes out and getting the new motor put in it. And then that truck, that gray truck right there, I'm building it for one of my other drivers, Jason. He's due for a new truck. He's running that white one in the dirt. And we got Brutus over there. We'll go look at it in a minute. But this is what I come out here to show you guys.
I think we're at 1,500 people. Hopefully the parts will be here for this thing tomorrow. I can't wait to get this thing running and see how it does. I'm gonna tune on this sucker, make it run like a scarlet eagle. Guys, check this out. It's, look, half the motor's missing. There's only half of a Detroit there. It stops right there. There's only half of a Detroit here. So, uh, yeah, this thing will be coming in the shop, getting some new injectors put in. It's got an injector down, I believe. What do you diagnose this thing as? Injector? Yep. Is it right? Yeah, fire it up and let's see it. Do it right on, let's hear it. Show us, Brax. Brax doesn't need injectors, I don't know. I ain't heard it run yet. Man, it even sounds like an old Detroit. Listen to the exhaust. Good, Brax. Oh, fire. Somebody needs to buy this thing. That thing's double framed and everything. It's an old military truck. Huh? You don't want to believe what that thing was. $3,000. I can see it's $3,000. Military auction. You never know what you're going to buy at the military auction these days. All right, so uh, let's see. Let me go back for some comments. Yeah, I want to see a wheelie. Hmm. What if I kill myself, guys? Um, yep, it's a four-cylinder Detroit. And sadly, it is not mine. I wish it was. It is a uh, customer's. That's what he give for it, though. I'm trying to buy it from him. Like I need any more junk, but it'd be a good truck to have the DTU on. They're a holly bug. Brack, come here and hold this thing. They're on me. They're on me right away on the thing. Guys, I told y'all back in January, so Steve and Tanya are no longer with us. They're, uh, Steve's doing his own thing in his cab over. He finished out till the first of the year. I mean, they're still legal and stuff, and I still... Like, if I needed a team mode or something run, I'm sure I could call them and they'd take care of it. I mean, we're still... I thank the world of Steve. But we were slowing down. He had an opportunity, and... Um, 
Like I've said many times, I'd never hold anybody back from an opportunity. He wanted to go try things on his own, and I support it 1,000%. I mean, I was held back so much when I started. Everybody told me, like, oh, you know, I didn't have the opportunity to start, so. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's happy for him, and you go check out his channel, Patriot Steve's Projects, on YouTube. So hopefully that clears up the comments. Here, I'm gonna go kill myself real quick. You can get it off. This thing, thing's powered up. What? This thing ready to run? He's a 450 motor on. Yes. Oh lord. It's so slow. Apparently the handlebars look good to me. Oh, you wrecked it though, didn't you? I don't talk about that. Yeah, Brad Craig's motorcycle. <laughs> Gives me the itch. It's been a long time since so I've had to do that. What size is that? 2.30? Yeah. Oh, 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 o
All right, what are we doing? Oh, we're letting that truck cool down. We gotta get that motor out. Yeah. I'm doing anything to turn up, out. Is that my drink? Yeah. Oh. You said you were bringing it to me for like an hour ago. Oh, we got rooster here. I forgot. That's fine, is That's good. You all right, Willie? Show everybody? Oh, Show me up. That's Brax's burnout truck running. He's in the He's getting ready for his lead pull. We got to put a dry shaft loop in it and weld up the rear diff. Oh, Brax tried to die going wheelie now. Uh, reasonable price to pay, pay for a classic. Um, I don't know. I'll sell you mine at a good deal. Lord. Daggone, Brax. Have you guys ever rode in that thing with us? I'll probably take it for a little ride. <laughs> The tires up on it? Yeah, I don't know if I do that. Oh, y'all done road in it? They said they done been for a ride. Oh, they want to go. Dang, y'all talk. If y'all go over, pull my arm like that. Watch what this daggone dog does, y'all. She makes me, she likes to play when we go for a ride. Come here. Hey, Ollie. What are you doing, Boog Boog? Come here. Oh, don't do it. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come here. Don't make me chase you down. <laughs> Take it on it. Come here. Come here, Boog. Oh, come on. Don't do this. Holly, come here. Come here. Look what I got. Look. Look at daddy's got. Come here. Look. Come here. <laughs> Come on, let's go for a ride. You go bye bye. <whistles> Holly, come on. God, she's so stubborn. Come on, Booger. gonna go I'm gonna leave you here come here come here I, I'm not doing this tonight come here come here book come on I'm not going in come on fine stay here oh if I go get in the pickup, she just jumps right in there. Big truck. She likes to play games. Come on. I'm leaving. Brax, you might have to go get Holly. She's not going to let me catch her. She'll go right through Braxton. Come on, Book. Maybe she won't. Watch him sneak up on her. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Holly, come here. Oh, look. She went up to him. Oh, he got her. Oh, 
school is trying not to go to jail tonight. You put the stacks on this thing already.
and all of a sudden. How do we end up in this thing? Now we're a bunch of troublemakers. No, it's not foggy, it's like sand pitted or something. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think it'll do a burnout. Huh? What kind of question is that? Yeah. Alright, if I do a burnout, you gotta watch the boost gauge. I wanna see what it does. Right. Is that the pyrometer right there? It's not hooked up. Oh my gosh, it's moving. It might be hooked up. Oh, that's actually a lot. I think. Alright, what gear should we do a burnout in? I usually do six or seven. Probably eight. A little faster. That'd be even better. Yeah. It's uh, strapped on. Need to My door started working. Huh? My door started working again. Yeah. Yeah. Everything starts working every once in a while. Well, Alright, there you go, Brax. It's She's still alive. Sorry guys, I'm catching up on the um, comments.
Guys, this is a bone stock 60 series from Detroit. Literally, bone stock with about a million miles on it. Sleeper latch up there. Where? Up here? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're not a TV. Oh, Bone stock. Can't see Brad. Brax take this thing to haul a load with it, couldn't you? Yeah. This is Brax's old uh, beater. This is the beater mobile. Yep. This old Eagle, International Eagle. I think that's the one we need to fix up for the show next year. Yeah. So I don't want to fix that. I ain't driving that thing again until you put stacks on it. It fell off when they were doing burnout. Yes, sir. I'm glad y'all are enjoying the live. We're supposed to be pulling a motor out. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're not really looking for any drivers. I mean, if you was... Uh, I got a heavy haul guy. It's supposed to be coming down here pretty soon. I gotta call him up and get him set up, but. Oh no, he's got stacks. He ain't even got a bomb. Now this is my darling right here, guys. This is Brutus. Oh, Brew Brew. Guys, this thing's just loyal. See if she'll fire up, I'm sure she will. Oh, yeah. Check this out, boys. We got four doors for more passengers. Yeah, it's got an M14 in it with a sleeper, baby. And we got disco lights in the back. see the sleeper that's where all the action happens that's where you get your rest at oh yeah she's a little dirty back here right now we got to get her cleaned up and straightened up we got a system back there check out them subs yeah dominic got her dump truck back yeah boy Yep, she got a sleeper. We got four seats. We got us a big high horsepower Cummins in her. Come on, Holly. Come on, girl. Come on, girlfriend. Yeah. Yep, four seater with a sleeper. And 14 Cummins. Right, we got a busted radiator. We got to fix the radiator. This is my daily driver. We're thinking about doing this truck. We're thinking about putting the uh, a coffin sleeper on the back of it and uh, doing it for mats. 
I don't know, man Brax got some ideas for this thing. This is gonna be my race car hauler for sure. I gotta put a radiator in. This radiator has had a bride stroke with Indiana and didn't make it. So, so you gotta have a radiator. And I want to do a bumper, some uh, stacks up the back, paint it, you know, do some things to it. We're going to call it the, the baby holler. God, just look at that line up right there. We got us an Argosy, Peterbilt, Freightliner, 69, Johnny Cash. We got Brew Brew. And we got this plastic thing right here. And we got the Malibu. This thing's about to get new interior put in it. Then the classic. And if somebody wants to buy a classic, I'm gonna sell this one. The Red Peach gotta get a new motor put in it. This booger is going to be for sale. I, might, I don't know. I thought about maybe doing a giveaway with this truck. It's a lot cheaper than doing it with that W900. If somebody wanted this truck, I would take... God, I'm scared to even price it. It's got a new motor in it, though. Brand new. Been on two trips. Fenders on it. It does have a Detroit. We just built the motor in it. It's a little dirty right now. It just come home from a trip. It's got maximizers on it. It's got a brand new set of Continentals on it. All the way around, steers and all. New brakes. She clean inside. I'd take less than 70K for it. 13 speed, new clutch. It's got the big clutch in it too. So, I would sell it though. Cause I'm getting ready to put the red one on the road so I don't need both of them. This has got the big 14 lane. Now it takes a certain person to drive this truck. It's a hot rod. Yeah, it's got big 40. Yeah, it's got the big rears. Um, air ride front suspension. I'd probably take... If somebody brought me $50,000 for it, I'd sell it. And it's got all new rubber, new clutch, transmission's been rebuilt. It's got a brand new motor in it. Um, new set of stacks. We just painted it. I mean, this thing's ready to boogie. But I'm ready to get this one going. This truck's just too much truck for a driver. Yeah, this thing is a hot rod. I mean, it is, it's a beast. I don't know, though, Fruster would hang with it. Um, this thing's way, yeah, it's just too tall for a heavy haul truck. This thing sits higher than Rooster does. It's perfect though for a reefer or a step deck. Um, I 
I've got it turned down right now and it's still an animal. I mean, I've got it turned way down. Let's see. I'll tell you, I was just, so Rooster, I'll tell you what I was offered for Rooster and I turned it down. Um, there, I've been offered 120 for Rooster and uh, when I first finished it at the truck show, somebody offered me 150K for Rooster and I said, no. Nah. It was hard to say no, but I did. Holly, what are you barking at? Holly. What's over there? I can't ever sell roosters. That's just, it's never gonna happen. I mean, you could offer me 200,000 and I wouldn't sell it. Holly, what's under there? Holly, what's under there? It's the graveyard, honey. It's haunted. There's people over there. There's a ton of people over there. You're gonna have to get used to them. I don't know, buddy. I'm telling you, that darn 14 liter in that Detroit or that classic will flat out get down. I mean, Rooster's stout. Don't get me wrong. And Rooster will pull like a mofo. But if I turn that one back up to where it was at, um, with the injectors that are in it, that thing will flat get down. You got a lot. We had we run a tune X15 with it, loaded both of us grossed out over eighty thousand, and come up a mountain, and that truck just walked off and left it. You got a lot on you. All right, we'll be back down. Oh, this thing's already about cooled back off. Uh, there's a, it's like going from a small block to a big block. I think I want to go for riding the classic. We'll go for a quick ride in the classic. I need to go to the store anyway. You got a lighter? What do you need a lighter for? You ain't blowing nothing up, Brax. You're burn a dirt bike to the ground. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. Not in my shop, you're not. Bad in your end. Oh, yeah. Well, sell it. Don't burn it. Go right down. Everybody think you're going to be filing an insurance claim on it. What are you barking at, honey? Hmm. All right, we'll go for a quick ride here. All right, T. No, baby. What? Dang it. Can't get too crazy. We got a dash cam. This girl. Big things coming in two months, other than a rotator will be here, but um, like I, we're, we're not, we're actually going downsizing, guys. We're not getting bigger, we're going down. But we're going to where quality is. Uh, We got a, yeah, we got a good opportunity. I mean, there is some big things coming, but nothing you guys are going to expect. I'll put 1270. Is air conditioner good on this one? This one? Looks smart, Do you see that? Oh, yeah, he probably was. I didn't even think about that. 
I walked right into that one. Oh dang, what happened there? Well guys, we can back up and instead of having paying all the insurance and doing all this maintenance on all these trucks, like that shop right there, the expenses in that shop is insane. Just the labor alone every week is like um, like six or seven thousand dollars a week. So just in labor. That's between Dad, Bryce, um, Sean and Devin. And then on top of all the parts and the inventory and all that stuff and dealing with customers is just not it just ain't feasible anymore it's hard to get paid nobody ever pay you and i'm too nice of a guy to uh go chase them down and fight them so um so i'm just gonna work on my own stuff and when they call and ask why well, i won't work on their stuff anymore i'm gonna be like well should have paid me Yeah, no, my trucks will be, I, but I don't need all the mechanics and all that stuff for just keeping my trucks up. We're just going to run like four or five trucks. We're going to run our boat, two boat trucks or three boat trucks, and then me and Dad's going to do oversize. So I can make a lot more money with a lot less and a lot less stress and be able to live my life a little bit. And then we're gonna have a full crew on our oversized boat haul stuff. Well, I hope we don't ever get to that, guys. I hope we don't have to uh, involve social media in our business, but. I would say this truck would do a burnout, but it would be um, 16 feet long. Holly, what are you doing? Man? Get over our bracks. is just a spare. took it out I got a big ticket in it
I thought we had to turn down more than that. Maybe I was wrong. If I could retune it and get some better fuel mileage out of it um, and be able to put a driver in it, I would keep it. It's actually very comfortable to drive with that air right front end. Maybe we'll just keep it. takes them a minute to all come in so we're gonna put the we're taking the 
um, 57s off of it. And we're gonna put the big boys on it. Oh, this truck's comfortable. I took it to Utah, and uh, man, this thing was just golly bum it ran so good out there back like it is a truck you can drive all day long and just cruise and i always my seat's way too high right now let your seat down be going to tow school for a while we're not gonna be towing really i mean i've been towing my own stuff but i'm i ain't really worried about doing the recovery stuff right now guys i'm really wanting to focus on oversize hauling i'm trying to step back and not have too you know too many irons in the fire i got a lot going on i want to live my life a little bit Holly, what is it, honey? What? What? No, me and Lawrence is good. Lawrence is dealing with some family stuff and. What? What is it? Yep, we've still got the blue wrecker. Now, in the winter time, we're probably gonna do some uh, towing and recovery, but right now we're gonna focus on hauling some boats. That thing is sexy. It's a beast of a truck. That truck's got some special pistons in it. Why do we paint the wheels purple? Purple? You okay, kid? I'm ready to go to bed. I'm tired. We need to get that motor out. see who start yeah we'll go get it started and then we'll figure it out from there what was i after oh coffee okay. grab me one of them fruit punch ones How's it going? It's going. You all find everything okay? Yeah. Alright. Here, take the drink. Take that with you. You're on camera, dude.
Alpha in me, baby. We'll be all right. She keeps in your seat and you're sitting at it. Oh, I'd be mad. Probably have to get rid of her. Oh, you good, honey?
good to get this thing out a little bit. Stop too, baby. We might use it on oversize. That's what scares me putting a driver in it. Is uh, all it takes is a little bit too much foot movement. You might kick a dry shaft out of it, or it's my biggest worry with it. I've had it tuned by two different people and neither person could get the, I guess it's very aggressive. doing a video with Weston. We're supposed to go haul something with the truck. I gotta go pick it up and finish it. Or me and Rob's gonna probably finish it together and then I've got a few things to do to it down here. I've still got to put it on the dyno, tune it, put the bigger turbos on it. AC. Um, a few things. Turbos as in plural. Now we're gonna start it real quick and then we're gonna end this live. And 
hope so. You see on this thing, Brax. Think so? Unless it didn't lose the prize. I am tired, buddy. Come on, Molly. Oh Lord. Here. Coffee. Oh. Yeah, it's a little late for me. I need to be in bed. I ain't slept in two days. Phew. I might have stuck my foot in my mouth for pricing that thing. <coughs> I would sell it though. I mean, I just don't need all these trucks sitting around. There's a, I want to put, I want to bring some new fresh meat in here. Fresh trucks, fresh videos. You gonna start this? All right. Think it'll start? That's gonna be an excellent parts truck. This ain't got dry shafts in it, Brax? No. I hope not. Let's make sure I don't need you driving it through the W900. Ah, right, you're good. You ain't driving it through the W900. You hot wiring it? Socket and ratchet over here. Do you know how to hotwire this thing?
thing. That thing sounds good. Sounds really good, actually. What is the difference in this? Oh. This is a newer style big cam. I'm betting. That does run good. It runs really good. I'm very impressed with it. How old are you, Brax? Almost 12. Almost 12? So, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to yank this motor out of this old rust bucket. And uh, I'm just going to keep it for a spare, I guess. Might stick it down in something. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. But I'm assuming it's pretty freshly built. Yeah. We're at the water off this side. Put the air force car. Maybe in the dirt bite. I'd assume and it probably would. Thanks for Yeah, probably. Alright, guys. Uh, America's got a Detroit in it. Did you unhot wire it? Yeah. Alright, guys. I'm getting off here. I am wore out. It's time for some sleep. To to I'm not getting up until about 12 tomorrow. I ain't going to bed till 5 tomorrow. Really? All right, guys, I love y'all. We'll, uh... Nope, I went straight to work. Let's see how we get. I'm getting a bunch of good knives, Braggs. Yeah, Braggs is pretty good at hot wiring stuff. I hot wire formula, dirt bike. Yeah, Alright, let's get off here. I saw the S2.